All right, everybody. I want to do a review on my Bonobo Extreme from System76. I actually bought this computer back in uh, back about six months ago, so I've had it for a, a while. And I'm going to give a review. So first off, you can see the computer's pretty big. As a matter of fact, it I've always said to people it's built like an old laptop. That's what it's built like in terms of size. And that's a very good thing because old laptops, they were, they were big. They had more ventilation. I can't stand the way the new laptops, they try to cram everything into these tight little cases. Like with my MacBook Pro. Yeah, the MacBook Pro is tiny. It's easy to carry, but it gets really hot. And I bet you it would be difficult to repair because it's crammed into this tiny case. This thing has nice big, big room inside of it. So that, that's a plus. You're going to notice this is the battery brick. The battery brick is absolutely huge. Um, it, it actually stays powered on after you unplug it for like 30 seconds or so. So it must have some capacitors in it. Or, or something. It, it stays powered on. You'll see the light on it after you unplug it. There's quite a few ports on this computer. There's numerous USB ports. There's an HDMI port. There's several on the back as well. You can't see it. The, the speakers on this thing are pretty darn good. The, the stock speakers that come with it are fairly loud. You have all your your headphone ports, microphone port. You have a card reader built into it with your Ethernet as well. Of course, it has Wi-Fi. So it has plenty of ports to it, including the card reader, which my MacBook Pro doesn't have. And if I turn it on, it, it actually boots up pretty darn quickly. This is the, the computer that I use for video editing now. It's literally about twice as good as my MacBook Pro. And I actually bought my MacBook Pro several months later. So the MacBook Pro is a later model, and this computer is still almost twice as good. I'm just going to have to type my, my password to log in. So now I'm fully logged in. It's fully booted up. And now let's just talk about some of the cons of this computer. I mean, there's really not a whole lot of cons. Um, it's heavy, of course. It's big. So you actually cannot fit this in a regular backpack. A regular computer case will not fit this computer. Even one for 17-inch notebooks, it, it just won't fit it. So you pretty much got to custom make your own bag for it, which is kind of a nuisance. You know, the battery brick is huge. And one thing I don't like is the power cord connects in the back. And I'm constantly having problems with it becoming disconnected just because of how it connects. But in terms of cons, that's really about it. This computer is the best computer that I've ever had in terms of performance. And that's the truth. You can see that the keyboard is backlit too, which is great at night. Uh, this thing is very fast. It runs quietly, runs very quietly. It has good speakers, so, so it has good sound to it. It doesn't get too hot because it's nice and roomy inside. And like I said, I've had it for six months. I've been using it as my primary computer, so I know this computer. I mean, I didn't just buy it a week ago and decide to review it. I've had it for six whole months. It's a very nice computer, and I highly, I highly recommend it, to be honest. If you're a Linux user, you're looking for the best possible system. I've never had Linux run faster on anything else. This is it. This is the fastest computer for Linux out there. It's the Bonobo Extreme from System76. So this right here is just a, um, you know, this is just the desktop of my Bonobo Extreme from System76. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is the keyboard on this computer is pretty huge. It's a full keyboard, and it is the easiest keyboard I've ever used on a computer, uh, on a laptop, that is. I actually don't even need to plug in an external keyboard for this to feel comfortable using it, which is nice. I use this to edit videos with Lightworks, and it runs smooth as day. I never have any trouble with the lagging, even with full 1080p, video with full um, full frame rate 
got the audio editing, you know, the screencaster. Uh, if you're a Linux user, you know what you can install on the computer. System76 has a custom driver uh, that can help you to, to reset the computer to defaults in these system settings. You, know, you gotta type your password to, to access it. I haven't messed around with this too much, but you know, it says uh, restore system, you know, install different drivers to get stuff to work properly. But I, you know, I've never had a faster computer because System76, they make everything work with it the way it should with Linux. They put the proper drivers in, they get it all configured for you. And I'm not a Linux power user, so I can't always do all that myself. This is the absolute fastest Linux computer I've ever had by a mile. There is no questioning it. It is a very nice computer, and I highly recommend it if you're a serious Linux user. Thanks for watching.